What is up guys, Kiroko Style is here and in today's video we're going to be quickly reviewing Zapier. Now for those unaware, Zapier is an automation tool that allows you to basically automate between different apps. It's excellent for removing a lot of the different repetitive work that you might have, that you might be doing on a daily basis. Like for instance, if somebody joins something, take their email, save it on a spreadsheet, and then potentially send an additional email out to them. The other great thing is that it allows you to basically blend different APIs from different apps and create solutions of your own. You can use it to automate your own business, you can use it to automate your client's business, and you can also use it in some cases to build your own SaaS. Though Zapier isn't exactly the best solution for that, there's cheaper solutions on the market that are a little bit more complex, but it's a solution nonetheless. Personally speaking, I use Zapier primarily for B2B stuff. I'll actually be showing you one of my zaps that I have up and running right now. And this zap is primarily used for the LinkedIn events that I run. So what happens is, is whenever somebody registers to a LinkedIn event, there is a lead gen form. The LinkedIn API sends the results from this lead gen form directly to a Google spreadsheet. And I can then manipulate this data for whatever I want. So if I want to send a follow-up email, I do. If I want to send a calendar invite, I do, etc. So a lot of that is in the bootcamp. But in this case, we'll just be showing the um, the Zapier flow. I'm mostly a big, big user of Integromat. So I have a couple of Integromat videos that I'll be sharing later on. The reason behind it is because Integromat is insanely cheaper, right? And it just does a lot more and it's cheaper. So from a cost-effective standpoint, Zapier might not be the best solution, but from a plethora of connections and plethora of APIs, Zapier might be the best solution. So what I'm trying to say is that Zapier has a lot more API integrations than any other app out there. Like Zapier is quote unquote the king on that and that's primarily like their biggest pro. Whereas other tools like Integromat, despite the fact that they're cheaper and in some cases better as well, they might not have certain API integrations. And for instance, uh, if we hop over to my screen right now, you could see one of my zaps here, and this is the LinkedIn event to Google Sheets zap. The reason as to why I came over to Zapier, despite the fact that I'm a very, very big Integromat user, is primarily because Integromat didn't have the solution that I was looking for, and I wasn't bothered to get a custom LinkedIn API to set it up. In some cases, like here, this zap, which is again a premium zap, Zapier has a 14 day free trial, which I invite you all to check out as well. This trigger of new event registration form response and LinkedIn lead gen forms isn't something that Integromat had. So I had to go to Zapier for it. So whenever I schedule a LinkedIn event, I want the data to be sent to a Google Sheet so I can then manipulate the data, send a follow-up email, add them to a calendar, invite, etc. like I mentioned previously. And that's uh, one of the key reasons. But without a further ado, just to showcase exactly how you can create a Zap, first and foremost, you need to select a trigger. So in this case, we're working with new event registration form response and LinkedIn lead gen forms. Usually whenever I deal with any automation tool, I'll typically have the title as descriptive as possible of exactly what I'm looking to do because when you have a lot of different automations and your titles aren't descriptive, it's like a perfect recipe for just clutter and disaster. Then choose app and event. So as you can see right here, LinkedIn lead gen forms is the actual app itself. Uh, the trigger event, so that's when you want the zap to trigger. And this logic is the exact same logic that you're gonna be applying to any other zap that you create out there. So it's not a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of complexity to it. New event registration form response. So whenever somebody registers to one of my LinkedIn events, right, this basically triggers it and data is sent to Zapier. And then choose account. So here you actually choose the authentication that you have with your own LinkedIn account. In this case, LinkedIn lead gen forms, Kiroko Stylist. So that's my own account. Set up trigger. So from the organization and then the actual event itself, the organization is the LinkedIn page and the event is the LinkedIn event. Uh, you can refresh the fields for just additional events, so on and so forth. And then a test trigger. So in this case, you could actually test just to see that the right details are being sent directly back to Zapier. Pretty important because you want to make sure that you've set up the trigger and the automation correctly and that's one of the fastest ways to do it last but not least uh, you have this element right here which is the the, the follow-up action that you want now you can add filters you can add numerous actions to take place right and I generally like Integromat for the um, for the more complex flows but Zapier is definitely a solution um, but what this does again is whenever a new detail comes through right uh, Zapier will then create a spreadsheet row in Google Sheets. Now, I don't want to show the sheet itself right now because it's just a bunch of different contact details and I'm going to have to blur everything out. But the flow is really, really simple. 
we choose the Google Sheet, right? The action that we want as well, create spreadsheet row. Uh, you can have it to update a spreadsheet row. So what that does is it will basically search for a spreadsheet, no, search for a row within a spreadsheet and then update it. But in this case, we just wanna add a new row right under because it's a new record. It's not an existing record. It's not an update of a record, etc. It's new data coming in, just add a new row and then move on to the next one. So in this case, again, create spreadsheet row. I think I just uh, reset it. Um, then the Google Sheets account that you wanna basically work with. In this case, it's my own personal one. And then setup action, so LinkedIn event, worksheet one, and then I wanna add the first name, right? And the good thing is, just like in Tag Format, Zapier also maps the details from the previous action itself. So in this case, first name, right? First name, last name, last name, email, company, and then user accepted consent. User accepted consent is whether they accept it to be emailed in the first place. And then email check, we usually leave this blank because on um, another flow, I generally have a email checker just to check if it's a bouncing email, if it's the right email, if it's risky, etc. And then you test the action and that's that. So this basically tests whether the um, flow was successful. You save it, right? You rename it and then you turn it on and voila, you have your first zap running. The key thing that basically sort of moves me away from being a full Zapier diehard is primarily because of the pricing plans, right? There are other solutions on the market right now, like Integromat, that just offers so much more for so much less. It's really a no-brainer with regards to who you're gonna choose, right? Because sure, one app might have additional complexity, but is that complexity worth solving for like an additional, I don't know, $500 on monthly payments for additional tasks? In most cases, yes, right? Especially if you're like a solo founder or a solo entrepreneur, etc., you likely solve the complexity, decrease the cost, and that's it, just benefit over the long run. As you could see right here, the pro gives me 2,000 tasks. So that means that 2,000 actions can happen on a monthly basis on my plan for uh, 66 euros, give or take. So in dollars, I think that's 70. Whereas on Integromat, right, uh, if we head over to the pricing, and I've got a lot of different uh, interesting flows right here. If we head over to the subscription, uh, you could see that for $9 per month, I'm allowed 10,000 operations to begin with. So it's just so much more already for $9. 10,000 operations and the GUI as well, right? If you check them right here is uh, it's, it's pretty interesting to say the least. Like uh, it's, it's pretty nice. You have like a proper flow, you can adjust it. So, on. so definitely if you're looking for a cheaper solution, check out this video cause it shows you the full potential of Integromat and just some of the other flows that I built as well, or just check out my channel right here and you'll see a lot of different other videos. Thank you so much guys. And I'll catch you on the next one.